Hey Team Shuckle, what is up? Welcome to the first episode of a showdown series. I just felt like doing it because I didn't really want, I didn't have a singles or a Wi-Fi battle lined up for today and um, I did Lady Luck the other day so I figured I might as well try this, see how you guys respond. Um, you can sort of, what did I just drop and where did it go? Whatever. Um, it could, you can sort of just tell me if you guys like showdown sessions. It won't be often, it'll be every once in a while or so. Uh, so today we're going to be using this team right here. This singles team right here. Um, I did not make this. This was actually, believe it or not, was made by Verlissify. I, I sent him a message. He sent me a team and I decided to try it out. Now I'm going to do something real quick. So far as you can see, sort of. Actually, you can't see at all. Um, right here, I'm highlighting it. Uh, with this team, I have got into 1427 on the showdown overused ladder. First time ever really trying the ladder, so I'm just going to hit look for a battle. We're going to get going. I really like this team. I'm going to be quite honest with you. For a format that I don't really play often, this team is awesome. I really love it. It does so well. It's just crazy. So, my opponent's bringing Trevenant, um, Aerodactyl, Rotom Heat, uh, is that just, this is just the regular one, right? I forgot what it's called, though. I forget what it's called, but this, this Ice Dragon thing. Um, then we've got Empoleon and Alakazam. So, you know, looking at that lead, you know, he, he's probably got the Aerodactyl lead, which is pretty scary. Um, so what I'm probably gonna do is I could probably start off with Metacham. Uh, Metacham hits pretty much everything hard. I'm just trying to see if there's any... Yeah, I'm going to go with Metacham. And I accidentally clicked it, so oh well. Um, but he's actually going to start off with Rotom Heat instead. So what I'm going to do here is going to be very interesting. I'm going to bring in D Ditto, because I'm expecting a Will-O-Wisp or like an Overheat or a Volt Switch. Uh, so I'll, I'll be able to take that pretty well. Uh, I really like Ditto in Overused and Singles. It, it works really well. A lot of things don't have anything to hit other things, you know? Uh, so yeah, he goes for that. I'm going to just go for Volt Switch. Uh, he's probably going to Volt Switch himself. So I have to think of a Pokemon to bring in, and that's going to be Ferrothorn. Yeah, he does go for Volt Switch himself. Uh, so I do eat that Ferro that um, Volt Switch up. Uh, he's probably going to want to bring in... I'm going to say... I mean, normally he would want to bring in Rotom Heat. But, you know, I don't know. He brings in Trevenant. Now, what does Trevenant do? It could Will-O-Wisp, but I'm going to get some Stealth Rocks up. Because uh, looking at his team, yeah, he's going to Will-O-Wisp. That's an, an odd choice, but I'm going to go for Stealth Rocks anyway. Um, now, the question is... What do I go for? Um, I could bring in Togekiss. He has a Defogger uh, who doesn't really... Togekiss doesn't really do anything to. Um, hmm. I don't really see him doing anything. He's probably going to bring in that Empoleon, though. I, should I bank on the Empoleon, or should I bank on him going for something else? Um, I don't know. You know, because if he goes for Will-O-Wisp, my Metacham's kind of screwed. But if he goes for Empoleon, you know, I'd be... I'm going to go for Metacham. I'm hoping. Did I... I clicked the wrong thing. I wanted to click Metacham. Well, that sort of worked for me. Um, I'll take it. I will take it. I'm going to Choice Scarf Curse him. Um, we do get Empoleon here, who's probably going to go for Defog. So I do have a brilliant switch in for my Metacham. So I'm going to go for that. I'm going to switch in Metacham here. I don't know why I clicked um, Ditto. I must I, I must have missed it. <laughs> must have missed it. That is unfortunate. But it actually worked out pretty well in our favor. Pretty well. I I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, so we do go. He does go for Defog as I thought he would. Now I'm predicting him to go into Trevenant here. So I'm going to go for a uh, Zen Headbutt. Uh, he could bring in, you know, Aerodactyl, 
but I'm definitely thinking Trevenant. Yeah, yeah, that was good. That was good. Um, and we get a crit! Fantastic! Not that it really mattered because we are faster and I'm pretty sure it, even if it didn't crit, we still would have taken him out next turn. Um, so he does bring in this thing, so I'm going to bring in Clefable this time to take either the Will-O-Wisp or the Overheat. Yes, fantastic. So, um, he's got, I don't know what, oh, Kirim. Kirim. Um, he's got special, special, special. I don't know what Kirim does, but I want to say it's special. I'm going to, I'm going to check out... Uh, data cure uh, it has oh it could be it could be either or um, that's interesting um, hmm I think I'm just gonna go for moonblast here he wouldn't no he, he, he definitely wouldn't bring that in I'm gonna go for calm mind instead uh, he definitely wouldn't bring in the cure here because uh, I, I am fairy. I don't I don't see that happening. I could be completely wrong though And that's the thing about it. I don't really play. Yeah, no, he does go for the Empoleon instead So fantastic that actually works out very well for me now. I know this thing does get um uh, I don't think it gets roar. I think it gets um it gets stealth rocks So I'm just gonna go for calm mind again. He's probably gonna go for stealth rocks. No, he's gonna go for knockoff. Okay, that's not bad at all. We're in a good position now. We can we can basically set up this, uh, get a soft boiled up at some point. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go for it now. I'm gonna go for soft boiled now, expecting him to either roar or to switch into Kiram, who would be a physical attacker. Um, but we'll see. Uh, no, he goes for stealth rock. So we're actually in a really good position because we could just keep on doing this. Um, he doesn't have any unaware. He doesn't seem to have any phasers. Um, He's going to go for Scald. Even if he burns us, we're Magic Guard, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, I just want to get as many boosts as I can, because I really am afraid of that Kyurem. I don't normally battle Kyurem, so I don't really know what they do. And with base 130 attacks, you know, I, I want to get as much a power as I can. Um, plus, you know, he's slowly losing his HP to burn, so, you know, we're not, we're not really in a bad position. Um... So he does end up switching out into Alakazam, who's probably his Mega. So I'm just going to go for a Moonblast here. Oh, he, he encores us. That's actually really not bad, because it's not like he can do too much to us. But I'm just going to continue doing it. I don't really care. Oh, he can do a lot to us. Okay, I lied. I'm sorry. I did lie there. Um, damn. Okay, well, we can set him up again. I did not expect that to have that. Um, so I'm gonna bring in Togekiss here. I think I can take a Psyshock. I don't know what I'm doing. I'll be quite honest with you. I really don't know what I'm doing. Um, now, I have Yawn, which is weird. I know. But he put Yawn on this, and you know, it does sort of work. Uh, but I'm gonna go for Air Slash here. It's really my only option. Uh, he does flinch. I'm not- I am going for flinches, I'll be quite honest with you. It is- but it's really the only thing. Only option I have. Uh, he's probably gonna bring in the Rotom here. Oh no, he's gonna bring in the Ampoleon. Um... But with the burn, that should be what Air Slash did, about 19%. He has Knock Off, he has Knock Off, Scald, and Stealth Rocks, and probably something else. What? Defog. Okay, so he really can't touch us, so I'm just going to go for Air Slash again. I'm not trying to flinch him, but I don't think... Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, I couldn't really switch in on another attack anyway, so it's really not the end of the world. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring in... Ditto. I know your move set. I know what you can do. But you'll die to burn anyway, so I'm just gonna bring in Ditto here and I'm gonna go for uh defog. Uh because I know he can't he probably can't kill me, so I'm gonna go for defog here. I uh, you know, honestly I really don't know what I'm doing. I'm just hoping for the best. <laughs> Sometimes that's the best thing to do, you know? Uh, so I'm just hoping for the best here. He does switch out into Kiram. I really don't know what this thing does. I'm really confused. I don't know what it could possibly do. Um, I do still have my Barbarical, which is going to be very useful, I think. I can get uh, a Shell Smash off against this. Um, so what I'm probably going to do here is I'm going to bring in Clefable. He's probably going to predict that, though. I don't know. He goes for Earth Power. Well, I'm going to go for Moonblast. He's going to kill me. That's fine. I am going to go for Shell Smash Barbarical here. He doesn't have any priority on the rest of his team that I can tell, so I'm just going to click this um, Shell Smash. That's not even enough to kill us. That is nuts. Um, but he has lower evasion, so this Rock Slide should definitely hit no matter what. I got a I got an orange thing up here for VGC. That is weird. Uh, but I am going to just go... 
That is weird. Is he scarfed? That... <laughs> hmm. Even at plus two, he outspeeds us. That's something I did not even... Consider. Um, so he's Scarf, so if we switch in Ditto, that's gonna be, you know, us sort of just flipping a coin. Um, so I'm gonna bring in Ferrothorn here, and I'm gonna go for Leech Seed. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. I don't know. Uh, but I figured he'd switch out and we can get at least some recovery, you know, with the Leech Seed. So that works. Uh, but the burn really just. The burn just kind of screwed us there. Oh well. Um, I don't know why this chat did that. Um, I'm going to protect just to see if he's going to go for overheat. Yeah, he is. Um, hmm. Hmm. Could bring in Ditto, but I don't really want to take that. Uh, I'm just going to go for Stealth Rocks. Maybe he misses. Oh! Yes! He predicted me to switch, so I'm glad I actually went for Stealth Rocks here instead. Uh, now that he doesn't have a defogger, although I, I, I want to say Aerodactyl does get defog. I just want to say it does. Um, so we've got an Aerodactyl. I'm going to go for Gyro Ball. Uh, he's mega. He's going to go for Fire Fang. That does hurt me, unfortunately. Um, so I have to bring in Ditto here. But if I lock myself into Rock Slide, I should be pretty good. So I'm going to go into Rock Slide here. Um, although, wait, let me just make sure that's right. Uh, Aerial Ace is going to be walled by Rotom. Ice Fang will be not walled by Kiram, but uh, walled by Rotom. Fire Fang, yeah, I have to go for Rock Slide here. I have to go for Rock Slide, so let's hope this is a good play. Uh, we do have the Stealth Rocks out, so he's... Uh, he does switch out. That is interesting. He's hoping for a miss. He does get a miss. I'm gonna go for Rock Slide again. We only have four chances to do this, so this has to KO. It doesn't KO, but we do get the flinch, so I'm happy about that. Uh, I'm gonna Rock Slide yet again. Um, as long as we could possibly kill this Alakazam. If he brings in the Alakazam, I'm gonna be very happy. If he doesn't, I'm not gonna be very happy. <laughs> uh, so he brings in Kiram, who is weak to Rock. Um, however, one Rock Slide here will kill us, so I'm just going to go for Rock Slide. It does take him out, but we are now out of Rock Slides because of that pressure. So that was that was a good play on his part. Um, he is going to bring an Aerodactyl here. Um, I'm going to bring in Metacham to take an Aerial Ace or an Ice Fang. That's interesting. Um, I am going to go for Fake Out, though, to do as much damage as I can. Uh, pure power fake out even if it's resisted aerodactyl shouldn't take it very well meaning he won't be able to really switch in later on uh, so that works he's gonna go for aerial ace but I'm gonna go for thunder punch instead I thought the alakazam was his mega but I guess I'm wrong about that uh, so he does go for aerial ace that is fine I expected you to do that uh, I just didn't want to switch in I was sort of afraid um, I'm gonna go for rock slide again we do hit it, so we just have the Alakazam left, who is most likely going to be Focus Sash. But it doesn't matter, because he doesn't have the Sash intact. So we do win! Awesome! Fantastic! I'm going to say good game. We're now at 1444, 45 with this team, and that's really all I'm going to say with that. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this. I know it's a little different. You know, I, I know you guys prefer Wi-Fi, but, you know, I needed something for today, so I figured I'd go for this. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it, and I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Peace!